So apparently this uh, mint based Linux distro has just crossed over a million downloads in just a couple of days with a lot of I mean millions of users migrating from Windows to Linux and uh, let's talk about it. So this is called Zorin OS. Uh, it's a uh, as it sounds is a Linux distro and uh, it's a Ireland based company that makes this thing and uh, on surface it looks pretty awesome. Honestly I think they have probably the best website design when it comes to Linux distribution websites and uh, I would say it's pretty alright. Uh, they got some couple of good reviews by some i mean pc world is probably the name i've heard but uh, i don't know i i don't really trust any of these things on what people say on their websites so what matters to me is uh, i've seen some good reviews about this uh, distribution and uh, they got a pretty fancy you know marketing system and uh, it's been going quite viral uh, a lot of creators are talking about it and it uh, I guess it's pretty alright. Uh, they are marketing themselves as a kind of a clean, hassle-less version of Linux. Like uh, it's Linux, but it's really similar to the experience of uh, your traditional operating systems like uh, Windows or Mac. And you can, you know, tune it to your liking. Uh, you can turn it uh, to be something like Windows or be something like Mac. And uh, they're, they're kind of selling is as a, you know, uh, as a premium Linux. Linux, but uh, it it's like uh, your traditional you know buyable operating systems and uh, they do have a pro version and uh, that's this is something that throws me off i mean i don't care uh, if it's whatever but 50 dollars it's 50 dollars by the way and uh, i think to me i don't think so uh, I think if you're gonna get, because uh, uh, it just offers to give an experience like uh, Linux Mint, <laughs> as it says, you can get experience like uh, Mac OS, like uh, in the page they say Mac OS like, Windows 11 like, Windows Classic like, Chrome OS like, Compact Panel, Ubuntu like, Elementary OS like, and Linux Mint like. And uh, I would say just use Linux Mint. I mean if you're getting a desktop that gives you experience like Linux Mint and let makes you pay $50, why don't just install Linux Mint? I'm not here to hit on this software though. I think there are a couple of things that they have done really nice, but probably the <laughs> biggest thing would be the highlight would be the marketing they are doing, especially their website. I mean, they have got a pretty nice website. I, they're literally charging uh, 50 bucks for their software. I'm pretty sure just because of their website. And uh, of course, uh, this is kind of a, you know, what, what you would say that Apple kind of a strategy just sells because it's look premium i mean i'm not really into those things but there are people that are that uh, would really not bother themselves with uh, installing linux uh, i'm pretty sure it does take uh, um, about the same amount of, amount of steps and there are probably distributions there are that are even easier than zorin to set up or even to use but just because it's able to market itself to be easier to use i don't know it's able to sell itself uh, of course i don't really want to you know come here and uh, share on this thing it does do a lot of things really good I mean uh, when software is being sold uh, for money I think it's uh, probably in the, its best state well community develop things like Linux you know open source software like uh, Godot blender software that I use they are made by uh, millions of people who have a lot of different kind of preferences so kind of like on the base of luck if uh, it will turn out to be good for these projects they were lucky enough that they were powered by passionate people and turn out to be really good software but there are many software that don't really turn out to be great just because there isn't the motivation of money behind it so it's pretty i'd say refreshing they are paid uh linux based distribution i'm pretty sure about that but uh it's good to see that uh, one of them is getting this much traction uh especially if people are developing operating system based on linux and uh, not attaching the strings of like services with them pretty all right i would say. i mean uh, so long as they just focus uh, on developing the actual operating system and improving on it uh, and uh, not become Microsoft and try attaching uh, Copilot to it. I think they're doing really all right work here. Uh, of course, if you want to test out it, uh, this is supposed to be a free version. Uh, not sure about that. So you could just go ahead and uh, download it 
the for 49 USD. Yep, uh, I don't think there's a free version for right now. But uh, I think if you want to try it out, uh, I mean, go ahead. Sure. There's a free version called the Core, which uh, gives basic use. It's pretty uh, okay for you know trying out the features it got it got does got a uh, you know some of the standard features with the operating system so yeah uh, that's it for zorin os uh if you want to try it out you can go to their website and try it out uh for me not so much i am planning to switch to mint i won't want to get a mint like experience i just will just install mint so yeah that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one